Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait a Minute production. Today is the 26th of June 2014, so Thursday is 1.37pm. So today's topic I would like to talk about is like Doomsday Weapons. When we talk about or uh, think about Doomsday Weapon, we always think about nuclear bombs. I would say nuclear bombs are kind of like counterproductive because they will leave an area which you have bombed uninhabitable for 100 years due to the radioactive fallout that the stuff makes the radioactive things that can change a mammal or plants DNA and subsequently cause lots of uh, long-term pain like say mutants or cancer and it's not a nice thing to use on something that you want to like Normally when you like deploy a, a doomsday weapon, you want to defeat the enemy and also at the same time, you would like to inhabit that place that you have bombed. So a nuclear bomb would be not the right choice to use or not, not the right uh, weapon to deploy. And in the realm of science fiction, if you have watched G.I. Joe, the second movie, there is some fictional weapon system from you know from space they fire some some metal rod which is very big and very heavy and is strong enough to like say uh not break or burn up in the sky due to heat and air friction some kind of material you have seen it it's science fiction firstly where did you get the material to make a big rod in space? Okay, is it from the asteroids? Is it from the moon? And if you want to get those things from asteroids or the moon, that's already like takes a long time. And if you want to get the stuff from Earth, then that's nigh impossible because we don't have a space elevator to bring the stuff up into space if you were to use rockets and you just ship the thing up you n I think you need about 1000 trips and that's not good as well because you don't have much fuel to bring the stuff up you need something that is small and packs a punch which is what the nuclear bomb does it's small does not require uh, much uh, much much material and uh, energy per material is very very high that's why people prefer to use nuclear bombs uh, this this fictional weapon system in G.I. Joe 2 fire a big colossal rod to earth and when it hits earth it's such a strong material that it does not break up the kinetic energy that it has uh, accumulated from way up there in space to way down here on earth is so great that when it impacts the earth it will cause well earthquakes and that's a doomsday weapon by itself but that's fictional because it does not work currently or it's just a theoretical weapon system that is not economically feasible so I was like thinking about a weapon system which is uh, in the realm of science fiction something that is not currently available or is uh, possible I was thinking if you want to like inhabit an area but you have enemies there what is the most efficient way of killing them if the per if the things that you want to kill is like other human beings and I was thinking why not use asphyxiation asphyxiation means uh, dying because of no air let's see here as V C I don't know how to spell it okay ah yeah it's uh it's nothing to do with the S asphyxia a condition arising when the body is deprived of oxygen causing unconsciousness or death or suffocation so this doomsday weapon that I proposed in my sick mind is I think I'm gonna name it asphyxia bomb okay that's not original what about the uh, vortex bomb? No, no, no. Maybe something else. Uh, the breathless bomb. Okay, that sounds a bit uh, like a like a like a chewing gum.
you know, for bad breath or for heliotosis. Okay, uh, just I'm uh, no need to like uh, name a fictional doomsday weapon. Why am I proposing? Why am I proposing this? I was just like having a smoke and I was thinking, okay, doomsday weapon. What can I do? Okay, then that means I'm an evil genius, I guess. No, 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 no. Let's look at the world from above. La 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 la. So we have the world. Okay, intended target always America. That's what the movies always depicts the um, American nation as a victim all the time. So let's say I want to bomb one area. Okay, okay, it's not not necessarily America, but some place like Europe or Japan or Malaysia or Southeast Asia, Australia, Africa, what not. So is there a bigger picture? Oh God, I need a bigger picture. Come on, give me a big picture. This is too big. Uh, okay, let's ah America. I don't want to like bomb America. It's bombing America is like it's like it's like yesterday. It's so yesterday. Ah, this one will do. Bombing America is always a victim, so it's time to like unvictimize the Americans. Okay, it's a bit pixelated, but uh, okay, never mind. Okay, I need a picture that is not pixelated. Come on. Come on. Uh, let's see. Let's choose a size for it. This is a 1920 times 1080 p, if possible. And let's choose the next best thing. Okay, still is a bit. Nah, never mind. So let's see here. Uh, if I wanted to like, like bomb, like say Africa, like this cursor here, this green part here. This bomb, this fictional bomb, must be able to cover square kilometers. Okay, Af I'm not going to be greedy, okay? Uh, first R and D will be, well, a couple of, uh, maybe within one kilometer. So what this bomb does, I don't know what's the trigger of it or what's the science behind it. This bomb is able to, like, send out a supremely strong blast such a strong blast that it blows the air away just the air okay our world is like a you know it's like an egg okay analogically analogically it's like an egg the shell outside the, that encompasses the chicken egg is our atmosphere once you take the shell away or blow one part of the shell away you that that fictional doomsday weapon uh, like say this green area here, just a couple of kilo kilometers, blows the air away, okay? But not the heavy stuff like humans or mammals or or buildings or cement or maybe gravel or rocks. No, no, it's not going to do that. It's going to like just blow the air away, causing a vacuum system. When it does cause a vacuum system, okay? things that need to breathe often will asphyxiate, will die, definitely, everything will die, except for, let's say, plants, plants do not need oxygen or carbon dioxide that much, so this bomb causes a, a vacuum, mammals and stuff that needs to breathe regularly will suffocate and die, thus, the one of the criterias of a super doomsday weapon is to kill off uh, the intended enemy, which is human humans. So humans will collapse and die. Uh, it's like drowning, maybe. No, um, well, it's not drowning, but close to it. Lose consciousness and they die. So if you're if you want to if you want to conquer a place because you want to get the livestock like cows and sheep and whatnot, this is not the weapon for you because it will kill off every mammal uh, crocodiles also uh, elephants ducks birds equine insects maybe if it's long enough yeah insects too I, I mean I insects i think they can last longer than mammals but uh, yeah you kill off most of the things that can move quite fast but plants is okay so this is a very ideal doomsday weapon it kills off the mammals who needs to like which needs to breathe but uh, it will leave the plants intact 
the only humans that can survive uh, this type of a bomb is humans who are near something that can give them air something like uh, inside maybe they were in a bomb shelter or inside the uh, enclosed space like buildings uh, which is closed perfectly closed or hermetically closed in order that the air inside the building does not get sucked out so and also people who are in the hospitals um, they they have gas tanks right so they can like suddenly they feel oh shit there's like air blown out of their lungs uh, and they need to find something to to breathe and uh, lo and behold there is a gas tank next to them so they grab it and breathe it in because there will be a vacuum system uh, around them for some time and also scuba diving uh, schools okay they can get those gas tanks but there's only one thing uh, the I mean that enables them to do so if you create such a sudden and terrible vacuum system there is a off chance that the lungs of mammals would actually Im explode out of the of out of their nostrils so that is kind of like gruesome too that can happen when suddenly you are introduced to a vacuum environment so it's uh, quite disgusting as well if you are ever there and suddenly everybody's like nostrils or nostrils becomes full of blood and whoa, the lungs just exploded or imploded whatever yeah maybe it's imploded imploded and blood's coming out and that and the fella dies so it's a very very scary type of weapon system so this weapon system might might explode and the air just moves away okay it moves away making a spherical uh, area that is devoid of air so it might take a couple of hours to be normal again because everything uh, is is in an is in an equilibrium so air will actually go back to that area because there's air everywhere so suddenly one area becomes a vacuum and it will normalize instantly so it's a fun weapon to deploy you just fire it boom vacuum system every mammal dies and in one or two hours time you can go there and occupy the place because it will be normal again unless you want to deploy the weapon system over and over and over again until you make an environment where there is no air for days on end then that's for sure you're gonna kill off all the human beings there uh -huh. there's another thing that you that might be interesting is when you introduce a vacuum system here that means it might be very very cold it's something like like becoming space in space it's cold and it can be extremely hot because of the sun but most of the time when there's no sun it's very very cold very cold indeed so you might actually freeze stuff there when you vacuum the thing don't quote me on that I'm just uh, hypothesizing I'm not, I'm not a scientist so what happens if you like deploy a weapon system and there's a lake around what would happen I'm not sure maybe the lake will be vaporized who knows but what if you deploy a weapon system in the like say marina trench here somewhere about here which is one of the deepest holes or crevices on mother earth in shape of shape like a vagina uh, okay so you deploy it there what will happen will the the strength or the power shock the shocking power that was able to push air away from it make a dent into the mother earth and expose the trenches below uh, would this bomb system be able to push water away who knows god knows this is a theoretical weapon system that i just thought about on my cigarette break maybe due to my dip my sadness uh, because of my uh, pain in my collarbone which was sheared off three weeks ago due to a motorcycle accident who knows indeed but this is a very intriguing and exciting not exciting but intriguing weapon doomsday weapon system that does not rely on radioactive fallout and whatnot so that's my two cents worth of uh, today's topic which is weaponizing a 
fictional weapon system that might be or might not happen in the future. Who knows? See you in Malaysia or where you're from. Bye bye.